Solve the inequality by graphing. Okay, so uh, the first thing we want to do uh, is we're going to need to basically rearrange this into a format so we can easily pull out like the vertex um, and the shape of the graph, stuff like that. So to do that, we use the method called completing the square, right? So we need to get this so this x squared only has a coefficient of 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out uh, a factor of 2 here. So we'll have y equals 2x squared minus 6x, right? Because we are pulling a uh, factor of 2 out of the first two terms, and then we leave the last one alone. That's just 13. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, we take our b term here. So this is a, b, c. We take b, we divide it in half, and then we square it. And that's going to give us uh, the number that we add and subtract into the brackets here, OK? So we have 6 over 2 equals 3. It's actually negative, negative. But when we square it, we just get positive 9. So we have 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9 plus 13. The next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to want to take that negative 9 out of the uh, brackets here. So we just, to, in order to do that, we just multiply um, this 2 into the 9, and we can move it outside. Okay. And then uh, now what we have here is we, this is uh, a difference, basically, well, not a difference of squares, but um, we can uh, reduce this down into x minus 3, because you basically take this negative 3 here, um, and that's how you know what it's going to reduce down to. So what will that look like? That looks like this. We have x minus 3 squared. Um, and then we just have to simplify this right here. So this comes to negative 5. All right, so now we've completed the square. Uh, so we can go ahead and graph this. So what do we have? Well, um, I'm just going to draw a little portion of the graph uh, just because of the shape of this parabola. So as we can see here, um, this is going to be the x-coordinate of our vertex, but we have to flip this sign. So we'll have a vertex at uh, positive 3. So one, two, three, and we're going to have uh, the y coordinate be negative five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's going to be, let's say, just right here. Um, and then we're going to have uh, a positive graph because our coefficient is positive, and it's going to be vertically expanded by two. So uh, our first one here, it's going to go over one, up two, over one, up two, and then we're going to go uh, over one and up four. So like here, and here, and that's just a rough drawing of our graph there. Obviously not the best, but it'll do. And then uh, we need to figure out where we shade our um, our graph, right? Is it going to be on the inside or the outside of the parabola? There's a really easy way to find that. Um, and so we have y. Uh, is greater than our parabola. So we want to figure out where y is above the parabola. That's essentially what that means, right? So in order to do that, um, we just shade the inside of the parabola, right? Because if this extends on to infinity, the y being above the parabola line is going to be all through here. OK? The other way to do that is through the test point method. And in order to do the test point, uh, we just pick a point. So uh, let's pick 0, 0, because it's always going to be the easiest to do. Um, if, if our test point uh, satisfies this equality, when we plug in the test point into all these x and y's, then we know we shade where the test point is. And if it doesn't satisfy it, we shave or we shade in the other part. So uh, we can assume that this inequality will not be satisfied. But let's go ahead and try it out. So test point at 0, 0. We have 0 is greater than 2, 0 squared, minus 12 times 0, plus 13. So this all just comes out to 0 is greater than 13, which is obviously false. 
And like I say, since this test point is at zero, zero, it falls outside of the parabola, but the statement's false. That means we shade on the inside. So as we can see, both methods work. Okay, so that's all for this one. I hope that helps. Thank you. Bye.